It's been a gray and grizzly day across much of the Susquehanna Valley. Taking a live look right now over York, we have condensation on the lens. Not raining right now in York, but the clouds really holding the temperatures down. Remember yesterday, much of the Susquehanna Valley was in the 80s. Across much of the area, we made it to the lower 50s today. Notice the dew point sitting right behind that, so it is uh, clammy outside right now across much of the region. Visibility down to two miles right now in York. Also some reduced visibility in northern portions of Adams and York counties as we head through through the evening hours. The farther north you go, the more sunshine has been able to break through the clouds. So if you're watching us from Pottsville, Sealands Grove, Lewistown, Port Royal, and just on the outskirts of Harrisburg, actually maybe seeing some uh, sunshine, a nice sunset out there. But for the majority of the Susquehanna Valley, we've been stuck with the clouds. What has happened is the front that moved through yesterday evening with those thunderstorms is now off to our south, and a series of disturbances is riding along that frontal boundary, keeping the showers uh, in the forecast, mainly in the form of some light drizzle and also also some light rainfall, so winds have been primarily out of the east. Here's disturbance number two for the day. High pressure is trying to build back in from Canada and clear out the clouds. It's going to have trouble. I think clouds stay relatively thick through the evening hours and also overnight tonight. So there may be some breaks in our northern cities, uh, you know, closer towards Sealands Grove, Harrisburg. You may see some breaks, but from York and points uh, over toward Lancaster and South, you're going to hold on to the clouds. Temperatures will be dropping from the 50s down into the 40s, and then we just hover there all night long under mostly cloudy skies. For tomorrow, it's going to be a lot like today. Temperatures only climb in the to the low to mid 50s for our highs. We'll start off the day with clouds and some patchy drizzle, but then do expect more in the way of widespread rain through tomorrow afternoon. And it is going to remain chilly. So if you're going to be out and about tomorrow, could see some drizzles. We head through the morning hours. Scattered light rainfall is likely through much of the afternoon. Then it will start to taper off during the evening drive time. Here are the temperatures right now. 51 in York, 52 in Lancaster, still in the 60s towards Sealands Grove. Not even mid 60s up towards I 80. That's just because the sunshine is breaking out over northern portions of Pennsylvania. That this frontal boundary and a series of disturbances are going to keep the clouds around and also the chances for some rain around. We've had severe thunderstorms through the Great uh, Plains, but this storm system, just the flow and the upper levels of the atmosphere, is going to keep the rain chances fairly high and the clouds around for quite some time. It's not going to be it's not going to be a steady rain. It's mainly on and off. Watch what happens here on the predictor. You can see some breaks in the clouds as we head through the overnight hours tomorrow morning. There's that chance for some patchy drizzle that becomes more in the way of some widespread rain during the afternoon. Then we get another break. Here comes another disturbance right along that front as we head through Friday morning. Patchy drizzle will turn into widespread light rain as we head through Friday evening as well. So not much in the way of improvement. Temperatures only make it to the low to mid 50s over the next couple of days. We're back up to near 60 degrees with some sunshine breaking out through Saturday. Another round of rain, at least in the form of some showers, we'll get here Sunday night into Monday. Definitely need that umbrella. Congratulations to Sean Collin of Millersville, our weather watcher umbrella winner for today. Now